Today is a windy day. Don't you think so? Well, no way. I thought this wave and trees that shake the air the whole time. Anyway, how about we put a good use to the weather? Last time, I promised you to deliver the wind energy and hopefully save the factory with it. Just like with water energy based generators, we have a mill and a turbine. Knowing how great the mills are, we will proceed to make a turbine straight ahead. But first we need a metal former. The recipe requires a machine casing, a circuit, a pair of toolboxes and three coils. As simple and logical as ever. Now, using this beast, we need to form four iron shafts out of four iron blocks. As expensive as it sounds for a loop, it's definitely worth it. Yeah, there is always a lot of iron required for machines, so you should get used to it and not afraid to spam. If there is something I'm afraid right now, is the feeling of being stared by iron damn blocks. The new mushrooms mean no good! Each one of those shafts is used in a different recipe. First one goes into making a rotor, the other three are used to make a kinetic generator and a turbine itself. Since we need a high place to install the generator, getting up and down will be gradually easier with a... Um, with a jetpack. Don't you think so? Jetpacks are very intuitive and easy to use. The principle is the same as with swimming, uh, except that the air is less dense. Now we need to carefully land. First we put kinetic generator with a gear thing facing where the turbine is to be placed. Then we place the turbine itself and turn it around using rage so the gear things are connected. Finally we insert a rotor inside that very turbine. <laughs> Let's check how much energy we can get. Apparently enough for Peter to steal the bad box. Oh, oh, oh dear. No, that wasn't him. Bedbox well. bandwidth got overloaded. You need a low voltage transformer to adapt the energy. Luckily, Peter already has one. Let's find what I've installed. <laughs> wow, would you look at that! Man, it's like 40 Peters in a wheel! Years of training wasted, huh? The last thing left is to lay the wiring so it will look aesthetically pleasant. Also, let's connect a charge pad on the way so we will use it to recharge our equipment the most efficient way. Alright, let's do the same thing with water turbine. This one has to be submerged in oceanic water. Thankfully, there is already a so-called ocean right behind our house. An empty pre-update aquatic ocean with nothing but starring squids and dark scary depths. A potion of night vision is highly recommended here. Here you go. Unlike wind generators, this one won't be afraid of rain for sure. However, it may stop for other unknown reasons. Yes. I can't believe you finally let me do something. Well, yeah, but I have to warn you. It ain't no ordinary agriculture. It's an automated one. Well, don't worry. If it's about plants, I'll get used to it in seconds. Oh, my train!